So let's say we're flying along. And they tell us we're going to have to expect a hold. And we're going to have to do a hold at Lakeland. And that would be an unpublished hold. 125.07. 125.07. One, one, one. Thank you. Good day. Come 6868. Let me know when you begin. So rather than uh, freaking out, we come over here to to the IFD. Currently 36 minutes away. 99 nautical miles. And I press the FMS button. And I've got Lakeland lit up. So I go ahead and I hit enter or hit the round knob. And then I get the option, hold the lake one. When I highlight it, it gives me a preview of the hold, and it shows the hold over Lakeland. And all I gotta do is press enter. And now the hold's been entered to my added to my flight plan. Well that's great. Simple. But those aren't the holds we fear. Rather the holds we fear are the unpublished holds and the ones where we're gonna have to figure out some sort of entry pattern into it. So I'm going to expand the screen over, and I can see there's the hold at Lakeland. And it's currently set to right turns. I can press on that, and I can choose the options from right to left. I can change the time from 1 to whatever number I want, and I can make that minutes, which it's default at, or I can select nautical miles. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as right turns, and I'm going to leave it... Um, uh, for one minute turns. But what I'm going to do is it's currently telling we would set up on uh, our current course, which would mean we're holding uh, southeast of it. So rather than a southeast hold, I'm going to say that they want us to hold east of it. So east on a zero nine zero radio. Well, the reciprocal of that, which I can see looking at my HSI, would be a, a, a 270 heading. So I come over and I type in 270, press enter, and now it shows me hold east no, of Lake Mike, 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 270. I go ahead and make that smaller, and I scroll up and I look at it, and there is my hold, and there is my entry pattern that I'm going to fly. So, Let's go back to it and say it's left turns. I just select left, close it out, and there's my holding pattern as well. So you can choose anything you want. It will it will automatically five whiskey traffic twelve o'clock one mile eastbound altitude keeps one thousand four hundred unverified. Roger, looking for traffic percent by whiskey. So as I scroll back up my hold. There it is with the left turns. I can also change this to view the cursor, which is much easier. And there's my hold. And there's my entry. If I had any sort of altitude uh, restriction or crossing, I could then come here, make this full page again, select cross, choose the distance. I'm going to leave it at zero miles, and then it could be um, at or above or below, and then I can choose the altitude, and I can enter it in, and so I'm cruising 8,000, let's say they want me to hold it 6,000. Traffic 12 o'clock, one zero miles north, I can just enter 6,000, press enter. And based on my VNAP profile, it will alert me. Five whiskey traffic, ten o'clock, one zero miles southeast, found a stop descending a nine or thousand. Look for traffic, seven whiskey. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that constraint. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that hold. Mike, Miami Center, Roger. 